Hello there, Richard Hurstwood from Hurstwood Training and what I want to do is have a look at some iPad apps for education. Oh, just have a look at this by the way. What date is it? It's uh, the uh, 20th of March and this is one of the new Retina displays on the iPad. That is really, really clear. It's lovely. Also seems to be a bit quicker than the iPad 2, but other than that, seems the same. Anyway, let's have a look. Inclusive technology of churning out some lovely apps which are just ideal for special education. I chatted with my old friend Roger Bates this morning and the future for these apps is really interesting. They're going to be expandable, and but what we're going to do right now is have a look at the basics. Now, one of the things I really like about these apps is they are designed for special ed and they're dead easy to use. Instructions at the very start and we're off. Peeping musicians, really, really simple. All you have to do is touch him. Now, there are lots of other apps that have really complex and incredible graphics, but one thing I like about these is the graphics are very simple. So we find for some of our users, the screen is not too complex. I also like the fact that the instruments are very varied, certainly if you're British and you want some bagpipes or you want whatever, wow, there's something to suit you. Oh, yes, even if you're a spaceman, it's going to work. So I really like that. Peeping musicians. Okay, let's move on. This one's five sharks swimming. Right, you've got a choice. Let's do a song first of all. Here we go, sing along. And I really like the end to that because nobody gets hurt. And the song, of course, for our children and some of our students is short enough. That's great. There are two sharks swimming in the pond. There are two sharks swimming. One. So you get the idea. Really nice and simple. Again, simple graphics. And if I get it wrong, there we go. It's wrong. See if we can get three. three. Fantastic. And this goes on to a little bit more complex activities. Here we go. Activity three. What we got to do? Find one shark. One. Gosh, I'm so clever. So that app really goes on to do some very, one very clever shark. stuff. Now, a really nice thing about this is that you can actually use, at the moment, the Bluetooth keyboard that attaches to the iPad uh, with the space bar and return for one switch use, two switch use. I haven't had a chance to play with that bit yet, but after chatting with uh, Inclusive Technology this morning, they're also looking to expand that out to switch use and all kinds of things. So this is going to be a really exciting uh, set uh, of apps. Right, let's move on. Let's have a look at something else. This is a super app. It's really nice. It's called Auntie Maggie's Recipe. Choose a person and then make something. So here we go. Let's put that into the pot. What colour should we have next? Let's have the pink one. Oh no, let's have the purple one. Okay, we'll have the purple one. In it goes. Right, we could do colours. We could do all sorts with this. Really, really nice app. What you do, you add these ingredients and then... Oh, we're just chucking in a green one there. Hang on a minute. I can't wait to see how it turns out. So let's dip in the cup and see what it tastes like. Tastes all right. Oh, my goodness. I'll teach you. So there you go. That's a really nice app. And then off you go again. And as we're seeing in a lot of the inclusive tech apps, you do have the switch settings again. Great.
Lastly from the inclusive tech apps, here's Hidden Grid. There's a lot you could say about this, about visual stimulation, scanning skills, hand-eye coordination, all kinds of things. But just watch. It is this really, really nice. It's really, really very, very simple cause and effect. For those of you working with Roots to Learning, look at contingency awareness, contingency responding. This is what these apps are just fantastic for. The nice thing about all of the inclusive technology apps is that they're simple and they were designed with our additional needs in mind. They're $1.99 each and they're available in the App Store right now. Okay, uh, let's have a look at one other app which is actually not from inclusive, but this is quite interesting as well. Right, let's look at an application called Splingo, which complements the inclusive apps a lot. Uh, we did our first ever iPad course in Manchester some months ago, and a, an occupational therapist came running through and said, you've got to have this, you've got to get this. Being done by speech and language therapists, so I understand, and this is a really, really nice app, especially for additional needs. Okay, possibly doesn't work in landscape. <laughs> Like inclusive technologies apps, the instructions are really simple. Let's have a look at the number one here. Instructions contain one main word. Find the sum. Oh, completely missed. Mm -mm. Bravo, well done. Which grapes are little? Mm -mm. Yeehaw! Put the spider on the school. Bravo! Mm -mm. mm -mm. oh, well done! Good work! I'm trying to get home to my planet. First, help me build my rocket. Little bit of help building the rocket and then we'll move on to two main words. Put the girl. Who is waving behind the school? Now I'm not showing you the whole of the app, but let's just Find move it on. The dragon's table. That's right. Give the big dustbin to the baby. That's a really nice app. It's called Splingo's Language Universe and uh, very variable and maybe a little step on from the inclusive tech stuff. But all of those five apps, I think, are brilliant if you're in special ed or early years. Um, really nice, basic, simple graphics sometimes can work extremely well. However, um, keep looking, keep having a look at the YouTube channel or the website and I'll show you some more complex ones in the future.